If you're interested in learning more about Sandals Grenada, this is where you want to be. Hi, I'm Madison from Reliant Destinations and MyCaribbeanLuxury.com. I am thrilled that you've chosen to watch this video. As we get started, I invite you to have a look in the description below where there is information about, well, everything. From my best deal guarantee to how I can hold a room for you for free and links to current specials and promotions and so much more, it's all there for you. Now today, I'm proud to present this video, the top 10 things you want to know about Sandals Grenada. Number 1. Sandals Grenada was voted the world's most innovative resort. Have a walk around this resort and you'll quickly see why. And in my opinion, this resort is also the most architecturally innovative of all the sandals. This term innovative realizes when you look at the spectacular suites, the stunning pools, and the overall mesmerizing resort layout. More on these things in just a moment. Number two and my favorite, global gourmet dining. Yes, we're talking about delicious food. Sandals has won many awards for this amazing dining program and at Sandals Grenada you will find 10 restaurants and these premium restaurants are of course all included. Unlike many all-inclusive resorts at Sandals there are no premium charge restaurants. Even better my favorite Sandals restaurant is in this resort and this is Butch's Chop House named after the recently passed founder and CEO of Sandals Gordon Butch Stewart. This restaurant speaks quality for everything he believed in. Every cut of steak you could possibly imagine, innovative sides that are just absolutely delicious, and some of the best seafood I've ever had. Whether you're after a lobster top filet mignon or some truffle infused mac and cheese, this restaurant has you covered. Sweetening the deal even further, my second favorite restaurant in the entire Sandals chain is here. At Sandals Grenada, you will also find Kimonos, which is an oriental teppanyaki experience. For those not familiar with teppanyaki, this is where you sit at a table with some other people and you have a chef that cooks your dinner with open flames right in front of you on your table. This is an amazing experience and for kimonos and for Butch's Chop House, you'll definitely want to grab some reservations as soon as you arrive. Luckily, most restaurants don't require reservations, but for these two amazing ones, you'll definitely want to have your prime slot. Alright, and now number three, Spice Island Excursion. Grenada, known as the Spice Isle, is famous for three things, for chocolate, pimento, and nutmeg. On this small but beautiful island, you can do many different excursions. Now, I do just want to mention that these excursions are extra, but you can also book them online before you go to make sure that you have the availability. Rainforest buggy tours, catamaran cruises, 4x4 waterfall expeditions, river tubing, adventure cruising, yacht experiences, <laughs> what more could you ask for? You can do almost anything you imagine on this beautiful island. I'll also pop a link in the description below to show you how you can book these things easily. Number 4. Seasonal Considerations in Grenada With weather, I'll first mention that the peak season is from December until April. You'll also find that peak pricing is December and April, so if you want to go in peak season but have lower pricing, you're probably going to want to look at the end of January or sometime in early February. September and October are going to be the low season because this is when you have the peak chance for rain. If you're after a great deal though, don't be scared of a little rain on the island because during this time, the islanders like to call it some liquid sunshine. See, it's not this cold, dreary rain that some of us are used to. It's nice, warm rain that often is very short-lived and you can enjoy paradise as you would. Also, compared to other islands, Grenada does tend to be just outside of that hurricane belt. It's very rare for a hurricane to hit Grenada. So, while anything is possible, this does give a bit more booking confidence to people that are after that off-season deal. If you're thinking to grab a high-tier butler suite during this period and want to have the best deal on that, 
you'll find the best deals for the highest in suites between the months of June and November. Also, I just want to quickly make you aware that by law, there is a lobster season in Grenada as with most of the Caribbean islands, and this runs from September to April. There are so many other seafood varieties to try that even for a die-hard lobster lover like myself, it's not a deal breaker to go outside of lobster season. And now, number five, let's talk about the pools and beach. These innovations truly come to life when it comes to pools. Just have a look at this main pool in resort with this amazing fire put in the middle. How cool is that? There are also many hidden lagoons and pool hideaways and even private pools that you'll find all across this resort. Now the beach here in Grenada is different as it is with every Caribbean island and here you have a turquoise colored water and it is beautiful and this is a great place to do some delightful water sports. And of course these water sports are, you guessed it, included. There is a whole video about water sports and sandals that I will post on my channel shortly so make sure to have a peek and of course subscribe. Before we jump to number 6, I just want to quickly make you aware that I have linked a gorgeous digital brochure that is interactive as well in the description below. There's also some information on how I can hold a room for free for you and of course how you can get the number one deal. A very quick side note as well, if you are watching this video and you have booked sandals already in the last 14 days, definitely still drop me an email because there is a way that I can guarantee to add some extra value to your booking. Now let's get on with this, we're on to number 6, the dress code. If you don't like the sound of a dress code, don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. With a dress code, I am referring to a few of the restaurants in the evening. For example, at Butch's Chop House, while they won't ask you to wear a suit, although I do like to wear a sports jacket like this just when I eat out and as, as a general thing, you will find there's a couple of things they do ask for. It's very simple. For men, they ask that you wear long pants or some, some dark colored jeans without holes, long sleeve or a short sleeve dress shirt, that everyone is wearing some nice shoes or some respectable sandals, and really most importantly, no shorts, t-shirts, hats, that kind of thing. I really recommend packing for a few different scenes, so depending on your mood and the atmosphere you want for that day when you're in resort, you have that available. Number seven, a quick note about the arrival process. When you arrive, you are greeted by a sandals representative at the sandals desk. From there, you take a included transfer and you are whisked away to your sandals grenade of paradise. How you check in does depend on what kind of room you've booked. Thinking about the different tiers of luxury, club sandals, and butler elite, depending on which tier you're staying in, this will depend on how you check in. Luxury tier guests check in at the front desk. Club Sandals guests go directly to the Club Sandals Lounge where they check in there with their concierge and then have a private room orientation and resort orientation as well. Butler Elite guests are brought directly to their suite where they check in in room. There, their butler shows them everything they need to know about their stunning room and of course then gives them an orientation of the resort. You can also speed up this check-in process by using the Sandals app. Now, number eight, which I did allude to before, you can hold a room for free at Sandals Grenada. Now, if you call up the main Sandals phone number or look on the Sandals website, there is a way to hold a room, but it is done for a charge. You might be interested to know, however, that you can do this for free. The way to do this is to contact a certified sandal specialist like myself. While I can't speak for other sandal specialists, I am able to hold up to three different rooms for you for up to a week. At no charge, this makes sure that you lock in whatever current promotions there are and gives you the opportunity to make your final decision without that rush. I won't bore you any more on this for those who don't care, but for those who do, you know where to look. Number nine, cheapest versus best value. If you're on a very tight budget and you just want to go to a sandals resort period, then sure, cheapest is probably the best for you. But if your number one concern is making sure you have the best value for money, this is a different thing entirely. In my personal experiences and those of my clients, it is usually found that the top two tiers actually are offering the best quote value for money. This is when we step back and consider what we are getting versus what we hope for in terms of how much we are paying. For example, on the club sandals tier, you are getting 
usually more modern and definitely larger rooms. Access to the private Club Sandals lounge with some entertainment, snacks, games, alcohol, and all of that in there. Your private room and resort orientations, and of course your on-demand concierge. Dedicated special events for Club Sandals guests, and in your suite, you also have a full bar with more premium liquors available. This list is continuous, but that gives you a good idea of what you could expect. Should any of those things sound nice to you, you might want to have a look at the Club Sandals level. The top tier Butler Elite really kicks things up a notch. Butler Suite guests get 24 hour room service of which you can order from any restaurant in resort. You get access to a private butler throughout your entire stay with a cell phone with a one button pressed to get in contact with them at any time, premium dinner reservations and a personal escort to dinner, food and drink service anywhere in the resort, reserving your favorite spot by the pool or the beach, and so many more things, not to mention, of course, the nicest and most exclusive suites in resort. Now, this naturally leads us on to number 10, which is rooms and suites. Again, a quick recap that the three tiers at Sandals are Luxury, Club Sandals, and Butler Elite. Having visited all the Sandals resorts, I can actually say that I have found the Luxury Entry Level tier at Sandals Grenada to be nicer than any at the other Sandals resorts. But for those looking for the best of the best, you cannot beat the Butler unique, innovative suites here at Sandals Grenada. Just take a peek at this Butler Villa with Infinity Edge Pool that I stayed in. Truly, it's safe to say state of the art. When we think about a nice suite at a hotel resort, bathrooms aren't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind, but a Sandals Grenada, Wow. Sandals Grenada is also famous for the Sky Pool Suites, infinity pools that are often in the penthouse suite that overlook the Caribbean with the most tremendous views. For those that are after something a bit more intimate as well, you have rendezvous and different suites with private pool sanctuaries. One thing that's for sure at Sandals Grenada is no matter which different tier and which different room you choose, you are in for a very special time. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the top 10 things that I think you should know about Sandals Grenada. Please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe. I would be forever thankful. Moreover, don't hesitate to contact me for any questions you have. If you want me to hold a room for free for you, if you want the best deal, or if you just want to bounce any ideas around whatsoever. Of course, my contact details and a plethora of information is available for you in the description below. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's been great having you here. See you next time.